You know, the Marshall Plan was a plan that uh, was used to rescue Europe after the World War II. Right now, Africa has been hit very hard with COVID uh, pandemic. Uh, in 2020, the continent went into recession by uh, 3.4 points, right? Poverty uh, increased by 30 million additional people. Also, a lot of job losses, a lot of life that were claimed by this pandemic. And yet we have ambitious goals. We have the SDGs. Countries have their own national development goals. We have the goals of the Agenda 2063. And then how do we recover? How do we build forward better? Africa is characterized by exports of uh, non transformed goals with uh, low value added. We need to really push for this structural transformation that is going to be to, to improve uh, I mean, livelihoods, to improve, uh, to provide more decent jobs. So what is the solution? And this is how the AFCFTA now is seen as a sort of a Marshall Plan. It has great potential that needs to be turned into reality. It has the potential to actually promote this uh, structural transformation that we are looking for, to promote uh, economic diversification, not only horizontal diversification, but also vertical diversification, to add value, to transform locally the huge um, endowments in uh, natural resources that Africa has. Every government will be able to, to, to levy more taxes, to have more domestic resource mobilization, to have uh, also a, a better revenue from their respective exportation. It will also create decent jobs, which is good for the population, and make the economies more resilient. Because when you are exporter of raw material, basically, whenever there is a shock on international prices, you are hit hard. But when you, you, you are exporting transformed goods, you are more resilient. So this is how we say that really, it has a lot of potential. It can be the Marshall Plan for Africa.